Good morning. Welcome back to my channel today. Um, what I'm going to be doing today for the recipe, uh, I'm going to be cooking in my sun oven. We've really got a lot of sun today, and I'm hoping it stays that way. But I'm going to be making apple fritter bread, which is delicious. And uh, my husband's going to be the lucky recipient to take it to work for his friends. So the first thing that you're going to need is one stick of butter, and that's got to be soft, room temperature soft. I'm just going to mix that up. You could use a hand mixer, but I'm just going to do it with my whisk. It might take a few minutes longer, but that way I'm not drowned out by the sound of it. But this apple fritter bread is, is just so good. I sold it at the farmer's market this past summer, and it was one of my biggest sellers. Okay, once you get your butter creamed up, then you're going to add one-third cup of brown sugar and two-thirds cup of white sugar to that. that bowl out of the way. And I'm just using my whisk, so we'll get this cream together. It'll give me a good workout. But it's got all the, it's got fall flavors, your cinnamon and your uh, vanilla. And, I might have should have used my mixer for this part. Okay. Bear with me. Once we get some wet in there, it'll be easier. Next is two large eggs. There we go. Now it's starting to loosen up a little bit. And these eggs are from my chickens, so they're they're fresh eggs. Just got them this morning. There we go. Okay, once you get all this cream together, then we're gonna add in two teaspoons of pure vanilla. And I always use pure vanilla whenever I bake if it calls for vanilla because I just it has a better flavor than the imitation stuff. Okay, here goes our vanilla. Okay, and then to that we're going to add one half cup of milk. I'm using whole milk, but you could use two percent if you wanted to. And if you really wanted it really, really rich, you could use cream. But whole milk works for me. Get that mixed up. Okay. Now we're going to add the dry ingredients. So the first thing I'm going to start adding is the flour, all-purpose all flour. So one and a half cups. And we'll do it just kind of gradually. And it doesn't have to be sifted. But you can actually break this recipe down because I was when I sell it at the farmer's market, I was using small little foil pans. And I think I got at least three small foil pans out of this one recipe. But today I'm just gonna make a big big loaf in my loaf pan, so but I wanted to do the sun oven today because they say we're supposed to have a lot of sun. I've got it preheating outside right now, so. There's all the all-purpose flour. And the next dry ingredient is one and three quarters teaspoon of baking powder. Okay. And then we're adding, let me make sure I've got enough cinnamon here teaspoon and a half of, of ground cinnamon. All right. And now what I got to do is I have to layer this batter with cinnamon and apple mixture. Because it takes two, two like medium-sized apples and I've chopped them up 
peeled them and chopped them up and added uh, a, two teaspoons of granulated sugar and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, let me get the pan ready and I will bring you back so I can layer it. Okay, so now I'm ready to, I got my pan sprayed with uh, Joy's, Baker Joy's Secret, or you can just use Crisco and flour, whichever you prefer. I just like the spray. And you're going to layer the batter. At least try to get it, you know, as even as possible. And it's a thicker batter, so. Okay. There's one even layer. And then the next layer is going to be your chopped up apples. And I try to spread them out a little bit. So every bite you get a little bit of apple. Okay. And then another layer batter. Maybe another spoon. Let's scrape this spoon off. Okay. Basically you're just you're just creating layers is all you're doing. Okay. You know what? I think I'm gonna switch to a just a regular spoon because this spoon is kind of big. Okay, Let's, this way I can spread it a little bit easier. There we go. Okay, and another layer of apples. Oh, it smells so good. The cinnamon and the brown sugar. Then after I bake this, then I will, um, I'm going to make a glaze to put on the top after it's cooled. Okay, so one more layer of the batter. I'm just going to scrape it out like this. Get all that good stuff out of there. Okay, let's spread this out best we can and it's going to rise up really pretty scrape all that off of there okay and we'll put the rest of the apples actually I got the cons I'm going to put the cons on first yep we're going to wipe the con and then we'll put some apples I don't know. I might keep this for myself instead of letting it take it to work. <laughs> okay. And more pecans. I'm going to press them down a little bit. And more pecans. And then we'll do the rest of the apples. Spread them out. I kind of tamp them down a little bit so they Kind of stick in the dough as best as you can. Okay. A few more pecans. Okay. Okay, that's what it looks like. It's all put together. So now I'm going to take it out to the sun oven. Okay, I'm out here at the sun oven. I've got it in there, and it's already up to almost 300 degrees. So hopefully it will take probably maybe about an hour. But we'll see. I'm going to close it up. And... Lock the door. Ouch, that's hot. And then I will bring you back when it's all done. Okay, I'm back with the apple fritter bread. It turned out really pretty. It took about an hour and 15 minutes in the sun oven, which is it's pretty good. It's always going to take a little bit longer than your regular conventional oven. So um, now I'm going to make the glaze that you put over top. And it's really easy. It's a half a cup of powdered sugar. And I don't level it. I just kind of scoop it. Okay. 
there's that. And then one to three tablespoons of, I'm using heavy whipping cream. You can see that. We'll, we'll try one and we'll see what it, uh, what it looks like as we're stirring it to see if I need to add, yeah, probably gonna need more. Yeah, let's add two. But this is gonna make it really creamy. Do it easy so you don't get powdered sugar everywhere. And it doesn't take very much. Okay, I think I'm going to add the three. It says one to three, so I think the three will be just enough. Okay, let's stir this up. Probably could have put it in a smaller bowl. Okay, let's see. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna put another tablespoon. So I'm gonna do four because it, I want it to be just a little bit where it'll actually pour out of the spoon. So if you're used to using whole milk, it would it would be a lot runnier than that. With probably just two. There we go. That's better. Okay, I'm going to put this in a smaller bowl and I will bring you right back. Okay, now the glaze is all finished. And that's the consistency. And all we're going to do is start drizzling it over the apple pie fritter bread. And you can put as much or as... I'm going to put a lot. I tell you, since I got that sun oven, I use it as often as I can. You want it to go down the sides and and you could take a spatula along the sides if you wanted to and it's so good. Thing, Ed's gonna be happy. Okay, that's about it. And you could take, take a fork and just kind of drag it along a little bit. On the sides more. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you try this. It is delicious for fall. Uh, for Thanksgiving dinner, it would be something different you could fix. But um, I will have to bring you back after I cut it just so you can see the what it looks like on the inside. So I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay, I've cut a piece. It is so moist. I'm going to try a bite. Can't, I just can't stand myself. Oh my goodness. That is so good. It's moist. The apples is what make it really, really moist. And you have the pecans. Cinnamon. Brown sugar. It's delicious. Mm. Well, I hope you all like this video. I hope you try it. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Look for more videos coming up pretty soon. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bye.